Can't subscribe, but if not, welcome to my channel. So today I'm basically doing one of my favourite kind of videos, and that is a hamster haul. And today I have so many items to actually share with you guys, and I feel like this video is going to be quite long if I don't go through everything quite quickly. And if you're familiar with my channel, then you would know at the start of each and every month I do a hamster haul, and these are items from a bunch of different shops. The reason why is because I run a business called Tiny Hamster Paws, which is a monthly subscription box service for hamsters, rats, mice, gerbils, guinea pigs and rabbits. I don't think I've forgotten any animals. I specialise mainly in hamster boxes because of course I own hamsters. I'll have all the information linked down below in the description which is my website and I'll also have my Instagram linked down below as well because I post a bunch of pictures of my hamsters on there and I also keep you guys up to date with my business too. So I just don't know where to start first because I have so many items. I think I'm going to start off with the things that I got from a pet shop in West Wickham. Um, I think it's about a month ago now, almost a month ago now, me and my sister went to a a different pet shop and I believe it was called Scallywags. It was the most amazing pet shop I've ever seen. The hamsters are very well cared for and they actually breed the hamsters themselves. When I was there I picked up three items. One of the items I just couldn't find. Um, I was trying to find it before I started filming but I just don't know where it is so I'll probably include it in next month's haul but it was basically a little pink jelly. I think it's probably strawberry flavoured. I still have two items um, to show you guys. So the first thing is this wooden hideaway and I've wanted this for such a long time. I think they sell this on BioVet and I had been planning on buying this for a good couple of years but I just never bought it um, and I saw it in a pet shop and I thought oh that's so cute so you can either stand it up like this or you can have it on its side and I kept the tag so that I could actually tell you guys what it's called. It just says classic for small pets rustic fun cheap house um, so it's just a natural wooden cheap house and I use this for my dwarfs and they absolutely love this. So the next item I picked up is something I have needed for a while. So I picked up a pet safe disinfectant and this is by the brand Bob Martin um, and this is just the My Little Friend Cage Disinfectant. I don't really use disinfectants that much but I feel like it's just really handy to have. Um, so I like to use this when I clean out the divorce wheel because they normally pee in it um, and then sometimes I'll disinfect some toys and stuff before I put it away um, but I only use this like every so often. So next I'm going to show you this item because it's got a hole in it and it's making a mess everywhere. But I decided to pick up some millet spray and I've seen so many hamster owners with this but I've never gotten around to getting some for my hamsters. Um, so this is by the brand Vitacraft and this was on Pets at Home. I can't remember the price um, but I'm really excited to give this to my hamster. So I think I'm just going to go through... So I think I'm just going to go through this box first. So I'm just going to pick through them quite randomly. I got them from three different shops, Pets at Home, Biovet and Zoo Plus. So this first item I have is the Rosewood Board and Breaker Shredder Log. And this is from Viavet and I did put this in last month's box. But there was a customer who brought one of my April boxes. She bought an April box at the end of March because she wanted to get a March box but I was sold out. So I said to her I can offer you an April box and she said yeah okay that's fine. And there was two particular items in the March box that she really really wanted. I said to her I can order them for her and put them inside her April box. So what she did was she just paid the extra for the two items and I ordered them along with the stock for the April boxes. And the next thing she wanted was the Rosewood Boredom Breaker Play and Climb like thing which I also included in last month's box. I've been filming for 10 minutes already and I've hardly shown anything. So the next thing I picked out is from Zoo Plus and it's this Trixie snack ball and this is going to be going into the rabbit box and it's basically just a treat ball. So the next thing I have is also for a rabbit and this was from um, Zoo Plus as well and it's basically this little like wooden chew and it's got like a bit of um, rope 
on it as well. The next thing I got, which is also going in the rabbit box, is the Rosewood Naturals Little Hearts, and this was from Bio there. Next, I have the Vet IQ Healthy Bites Odor Care for Small Animals, and I love using this with my hamsters. It's a really great treat. Um, most animals really, really like this, so I've actually picked these out um, to go in the wrap boxes. Next thing I have is Buy Small and Furry, and these are called Bark and Bites, and this is from via that it's going to be going into the bunny box the next thing is the rosewood board and breaker nibble stick and it's basically three different shoes so you have a carrot a corn and i think that's a um what do you call it a turnip no not a turnip i forgot what this one is called this is going to be going into the wrap boxes next thing i have is also from Viabet, and it's going into the wrap box as well and it's the rosewood board and breakers woody's nibble sticks i'm sure you guys have seen these so many times so you basically get four different shoes you've got a grape a banana an apple and a orange the next thing is something that so many hamster owners have and it is the rosewood board and breaker woody caterpillar this is just so cute it's adorable um, and this is from pets at home and I this is from by that and I'm going to be putting these in the wrap boxes and I think these are going into the medium hamster boxes wanted to get these donuts which are also from pets at home and I wanted to get these to put into the small and medium hamster boxes but they didn't have enough in stock um, so then I decided to pick up the pets at home wooden donut um, the pets at home wooden dinosaurs and the pets at home wooden cupcakes so if you ordered a hamster box you're gonna get either one of these inside next i have the critters choice wooden rattler or rattler basically just a green wooden chew and it's got a um ball inside the next thing is super cute and i did show this in a haul about two months ago i think it was in my february haul i showed this but i brought a bunch more it's basically this pet safe easter egg and i bought these to go in the small and medium hamster boxes and this is from pets at home the next thing i have is this seed bell and this is also from pets at home um, and this is from the bird section but it's safe for hamsters and these are going to be going into the small boxes next i have these two items and these are from via there and these are the rosewood border breaker woody's fruit rollers and a lot of people thought that via that discontinued the watermelon um so did i because i hadn't seen any one of it for a while but luckily they managed to include i think about four of these um out of the I don't know how many I ordered, maybe it was like 15 or something like that. But these are going into, I think it's the medium boxes. Or is it the small boxes? So the next thing I have is something that I also have on my hamsters and it's definitely one of my favourite hamster items. And it's these Rosewood Boredom Breaker Woody's Fruit Spinners or Fruity Spinners. And they're basically kebabs with um, wooden chews. So this one has pears and this one has two apples and you can take them off and put like um, different wooden chews on or fruit and veg or something like that. And these are just super, super, super cute. And the thing I love about this is the fact that it has a suction cup. So if your cage doesn't have bars and you can just use the suction cup. And these are going into the medium hamster boxes. That was everything in the box and I have a few more items to show you guys. So the rest of the items are actually from Duplus. So the first thing I have is this grow your own grass kit and I did feature these in the January boxes. So this is what it looks like. You just get like a plastic container with some stuff in it and you basically pour water on it and apparently it grows grass uh, i have one of these for myself but i haven't tried it out yet and these are going into the bunny boxes um and the medium hamster boxes the next thing i picked up is for my hamsters and it's the jr farm dwarf hamster mix and i love this mix it's really really good and i like to mix it in with the science selective pellets and this is basically for my dwarfs and you can only find this on zoo plus because it is a german food so you can't find it in like pets at home and it's very unlikely you're going to find it in your local pet shop 
Um, but I got two bags of these because I was running low on hamster food. So I just decided to stock up. So I picked up this item and I actually have one of these for myself. And so many of you guys always ask me where did I get it from because it looks really cute. And it's basically this wooden hideaway and it's got like a little bear cut out. And this is so cute. It's a really nice size as you can see compared to the size of my hand. So a Syrian can actually fit in this. And it's just a really good quality wooden hideaway. It's just so, so, so cute. Um, and these are going into the medium boxes. So next I have these three boxes. And inside I have um, ceramic bowls. And they're in three different colours. So the first one I have is this pink one and I did um, put these in my January boxes and you guys love them so much and so did I. Um, I actually kept one for myself. So I've just got this pink one and then I have this blue one and they just have little hamsters on them and it's so cute. And the next colour is this beige one and it's actually got my um, hamsters food in it. This is Isabella's bowl. Um, it's basically a beige and brown one and this one seems to be quite popular. I don't know why but this one is the most popular one. I feel like this will look Look great with a natural theme which is what my hamster has at the moment I think these are just super cute to collect and I've got the very last item which is going into the rabbit boxes um, and it's basically the same dish but a bigger version so this is what this one looks like it's basically pink and it's got little rabbits on it and it is so 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 cute so that was all of the items i have to show you guys in this video i had so much fun doing this haul and i hope you guys enjoyed it um just before i end the video i'm going to quickly talk about um how you can get a monthly subscription box so if you check out the description after you finish watching this video i'll have a link to my website and you basically just click on the link go over to my website and there's three different buttons on on like the home page so you've got hamster boxes bunny boxes and rat boxes and you just click on which box you like and it will direct you to that page we'll have a little bit of information about what you're likely to expect in the box and then you scroll down a little bit and then um, it's got all the prices so the prices of the box and the posters the small hamster boxes are 15 pounds and the medium boxes are 25 pounds and postage in the UK is 2.99 per box and then if you keep scrolling down you'll have the prices for for in Europe, the price for the United States and the prices for Canada. If you don't live in any of those countries, then you can just convert the £15 or the £25 into your currency and postage outside of the UK and Europe will be £16, which is a little bit pricey, but it's definitely worth it, especially when you want to get your hands on some UK product. Unfortunately, I don't have any rabbit, guinea pig or rat or gerbil boxes left this month. I only have a couple um, small and medium hamster boxes left and I might be doing a restock um, towards the end of April so you can place your order for a box now um, and if I get enough orders I will reorder the April stuff again sometime this month um, but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you did give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below so bye for now guys and I'll see you in my next video <laughs>